What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Link in the description for the merchandise. Also, there's a PayPal if you guys like to donate to the channel for any of the builds. Before I get started, I want to say something. This right here is for 96 to 2000 um, LX, EK, EX possibly. I'm not sure. You're just going to have to look at the video, pay attention to the chassis. Pay attention to where I'm putting the harness connectors and the way I'm doing it. I don't want to be responsible for any of you guys doing something that ends up messing up your vehicle or you end up starting it and you don't look over everything to see if it's possible that this will work for you. This worked for me. It came out perfectly fine. Still continuing on shaving the engine bay. This is a complete wire tuck, no wires, battery in the trunk, no fuse box. I didn't cut any wires. I drilled three holes and you're going to need a one and three quarter hole saw bit you'll be perfectly fine. Everything else plugs and plays. All you gotta do is run one wire to the trunk for the battery, get you a fuse block. So let's get started and let's get this video going. Alright guys, headlight harness, got those. Also got for the windshield wipers, this other plug for the engine harness. I'm gonna take all these wires and put them through the inside so that way they're not there no more. Headlight harness on this side, battery, and fuse box. I'm going to put the battery in the trunk, take the plugs from the ECU, and I want to put a hole down underneath this spot down there. And also change this hose so it's a straight hose that goes straight to the firewall and cut this off. It should be straight just for the heater because I don't have AC. I'm going to bend the brake lines down to do like a ghetto brake tuck. want to get this engine bay ready so I can paint it. So I'm going to take the fenders off, take out the battery, and start getting ready to do the process of this. Alright guys, so I got the fenders off, headlights off, battery out. What I'm doing right now is I pop the plastic cover off of this and unplugged all the fuse box plugs so that way I can pull these through there. I unplugged the ECU wires and got those ready so that way I can pull them through the firewall. I'm gonna grind down this bolt that I can't get that is stripped out down inside there. For some reason it's not one to come out, it rounded itself off, so. Make sure when you guys are doing this, you guys take these off so that way you'll go through the hole in the firewall. That's gonna slow you down. This is the only plug that you're gonna need. Once you put these through there, we'll put it through this side over here for the headlight harness on this side. And what we'll do is we're just going to cut this. Alright guys, so this is the wire that goes for the headlight harness in the front passenger side. And basically what I did was I stuck it back through to the left. So I didn't even have to unbolt anything with the blower motor or anything behind the dash. Basically all I did was take this and stick it in that way. And I'm going to do the same thing with these plugs. And this is the plug for the fuse box. So basically what I'm going to do is push it over to the left behind everything and then I'll pull it through. Without unbolting anything, basically I push these over to the left of here. I will be putting the fuse box somewhere in this area down here. 
I'll figure that out here in a little bit. For right now, this is for the headlight harness on the passenger side. And what we're going to do is we're going to push it through where the grommet goes to the outside of the car. So that way we can push this through there and have it on the outside. So this is the plug that goes through. I just cut a little slit along the side so that will go through. I'll cut the end of this out so that way the harness can come through. And I loosened all this across the front. Um, all the wires for the ECU, like I said, I'm gonna put a hole down in the bottom over here to hide them so that way they go through that way. I'll move this airline down to this other hole in the bottom down there so that way it's not coming through the top right there. Figure out what I'm going to do with running this fuse box real quick so that way I can put this back in the car real quick. So far pretty simple, not that big of a deal, a um, lot easier than what I thought and expected, especially watching everybody else's videos and stuff. I'm trying to put everything that I learned from everybody's videos in one for you guys and for myself to make it a lot easier. So. It's getting there. I'm gonna get this fuse box put in here and figure out where I'm gonna mount it. Where I drilled and put a hole through was right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill that out big enough to where I can take this whole harness and stick the whole harness through the bottom down there so that way I can keep the whole engine harness wire tucked also. Alright guys so this is one and three quarters hole saw bit. I went straight through the firewall got that knocked out. I'm gonna put the harness wires through. All the ECU connectors all fit through there. The extra wire for the harness that comes off of the fuse box actually fit perfectly and screwed in right there. Another cool thing that I seen was ECU was able to mount exactly in the same spot i got a bolt in there about as far as it can go all the way through i need to run a power wire to the starter the main ecu harness is going to blend in with all the other engine components and give this side a nice good shaved look on this side over here i hole saw it out with uh, one and three quarter so i'm going to run the plug through this side all the way through here what i'm going for is no cutting wires maybe just drilling a couple holes and being able to pretty much wire tuck this whole thing to where it's the cleanest wire tuck with the stock wires. I was able to push this all the way through and run it back. Um, it's a little bit tight right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some electrical tape, tape this up, and then put some of that plastic loom on here. Push this side in and pull this out so that way I can have enough clearance for this plug to go in there. So I got this covered, pulled through, and got it to where this plug will still reach for the radiator. Now for the driver's side. So, same thing. We're going to do this right here. We're going to put it through where the harness already is. Same exact concept as the other side. We'll have to take off this 10. Like I said, the grounds are going to be on the outside for those. Remove the brake booster, take that out, and also be able to get to that plug for the windshield wipers. All right, guys, so if you guys are doing this and you don't have cruise control, you can remove this whole box right here. Take that out, unconnect it, and you're good to go. I mean, if you do have cruise control, you can plug that back in and leave it. But you do got to take that out so that way you can get behind it. So that way you can start the process of taking those two connectors and bringing them back through this way to bring them back through here. So there's these four 12 millimeters right here. There's a safety pin 
and this goes through the brake pedal to the clevis that goes to the booster. And boom. Just like that. So I'm going to have to take off this piece so that way I can keep it because I'm going to need that for when I install it back because we're going to be doing a brake booster delete. Now that we got the brake booster out, remove the cowl, the windshield wipers, and see where the best spot would be for me to relocate this wire to still come into here but still be tucked. So these two plugs are the ones that go to the front wiring harness for the headlights. And this plug right here goes to the passenger side for the other engine harness piece that is on the inside of the engine bay. Well, with these two plugs, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to push them through. Another thing that I did was I took all of the tape off of these. So that way I can separate them. So that way I can get more distance out of the wires. For example, this one right here was connected all the way up to this spot. When you're cutting them, just be very careful that you don't damage any of the wires. Alright guys, so there's extra plugs right here that I'm going to go ahead and tape up to so make sure that they don't get any moisture or anything in them. Like I said, hit that in, pull this out, and I'll give you enough clearance to push these in there. Windshield cow off, and I got this unplugged. I'm going to have to bend this inside here, so that way I can get this plug to go through. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it through into this area right here. The wires are through the middle of this and come up through here and I bent that and check it out no cutting the wires no unpinning no nothing um, you can see how much I did have to bend for it to go directly straight through this way um, I can hammer this back a little bit pretty much no wires alright guys so that plug through the top of here which if you push this all the way back it's not gonna interfere with it I'm gonna put a loom on this piece right here of it. When you push this for the throttle, it does not interfere with anything. I put it straight through here to the other side. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this piece of the engine harness to go through the underneath. Try to put it through the firewall in that hole so I can plug this back into the other end. I did have to pull out this whole ECU harness and disconnect everything so I should have put that first in there just to make sure that it was okay. I also got the wire through where it's protected with the loom. To fill this hole, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the same thing that they use to install windshields so that way this is leak proof. These wires will not move back and forth to rub or end up potentially getting cut. Like I said, they all have the loom in the hole on them. As you can see, all of them are pretty much protected. No issues are going to be there. So the fuse box is going to be in this location right here. I got the wire that comes from the fuse box to power and then I got the starter wire that runs all the way to the starter to this area right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a fuse in the center of this, run one single wire all the way back to the trunk and then I'll connect both these to that fuse. Everything that was underneath the hood is now right here and this plug goes driver side which is for the engine harness I've gone to auctions in the past and this is what I'm gonna use for the power wire from the trunk it's for 600 volts gasoline and oil resistant alright guys so I got this ran all the way to the front I'm gonna use a zero gauge terminal for this and then I'll hammer this on shrink wrap it real quick Got it smashed down pretty good. There's just a couple of them. I cut the other ones off, so slide this on there. Two air compressor power lines. Alright guys, so I got the power all done and pretty much just cleaned it up to where it was fresh. Also, this is where my ground's gonna be. For the the frame, the crash bar support. So I'm gonna use the ground onto the battery and I'm gonna put this 14 millimeter on the strut. I use this side right here for another ground and shout out to BJ for supplying me with this wire I was able to use this zero gauge wire for the ground I opened up this a little bit for that bolt to fit I also cleaned this bolt up really good so that way I have a good connection so this is what I'm gonna be using I'm not gonna be using the zero gauge 
Um, like I said, I got the 8 gauge wire already ran. I'm giving a shout out to Down for Sound. These products that they got, I will be using this to run from the back of the battery to the front. The two 8 gauge wires that go to the fuse box and the starter are going to be on this. It has pieces right here that go from 8 gauge to 0 gauge. I'm going to use one of these going in and then on the out and use the 0 gauge port so that way I can put both of the 8 gauge wires inside this. I'm going to disconnect this and this is what I'm going to be using under the dash. So just for an idea for you guys on how to run that. I'm using this just so that way I can... Um, connect the wires together and make the process a lot easier got the battery pretty much in you guys I did turn the key on the switch box does work for the solenoids and the stereo has power everything has a good connection doesn't look like there's gonna be no issue and I did turn the key forward and when I did fuel pump kicked on everything turned on my bolt gauge over here turned on so I've been working on this idea and this plan of doing this engine bay, figuring out the best, easiest ways that I can show you guys putting everything that I see together, everything that I find all over, and you know, kind of including it and throwing it into all one video, not have to have no issues going back and forth. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe for more. Like I said, it's a PayPal in the description. I mean, I appreciate everybody that has donated in the past and supported me. A couple little things that I got coming up for the Civic that another company is on board with just like BMS racing industry's finest we got a lot of companies that are involved with this build and if it wasn't for them I mean I definitely probably wouldn't be where I'm at right now with the help that I get so like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one Like, fuck.